If you want to buy cheap Fallout 76 items or boosting services fast and safe, then check out u4gm.com and make sure to use my discount code DEMON for 5% off your entire order. A link is in the description below. What's up guys, Demon Asylum here with a new Fallout 76 video in which I just wanted to give those that didn't know a heads up about the maintenance happening tomorrow, Monday June 3rd at 11am Eastern, and also address all of you that are curious as to what it's for. Real quick, if you guys do go on to enjoy this video or find it informative, I'd really appreciate if you took a second to drop a like on it and subscribe if you haven't already. I also have a great Discord server about all things Fallout 76 that I'd love to have you guys join, and if you're interested, the link is in the description. So since Bethesda announcing this upcoming maintenance this past Friday evening, I've understandably had a ton of people asking me what it's for, and more specifically wondering if it's to fix another duplication glitch, or if it's to do some sort of account ban wave or item wipe, as of course there has been a lot of duping going on in the past weeks. Well, let's first go ahead and take a look at what exactly it said the maintenance is for. This post on the Bethesda forums is by community manager Valseek, and it says... Hi everyone, we're planning to bring Fallout 76 offline across all platforms around 11 a.m. EDT on Monday, June 3rd in order to implement some back-end service updates. We are not making any gameplay changes, so there will be no patch notes following this downtime. Keep an eye on this thread for updates throughout maintenance on Monday, and we will be sure to let you know as soon as Fallout 76 is back online. Thank you very much. So right off the bat, based on the description of the maintenance, it doesn't sound like anything such as fixing another duplication glitch. Outside of that, some reasons to believe it's not another duplication glitch being fixed is because there isn't a working one that is currently public. To my knowledge and the knowledge of the people I have connections with, there isn't even any duplication glitch that is currently spread around to a ton of people privately either. Basically, the point I'm making is the duplication glitches that currently exist aren't out there for everyone to know and don't seem to be even known by a huge amount of people privately either. With that being said, Bethesda likely doesn't know about them as of course they're not fixed yet. Even if there was some duplication glitch public or even just known by Bethesda though, I would assume they'd do maintenance on Friday to patch it rather than wait until Monday. I suppose in a scenario where that doesn't happen, maybe it's because they can't figure out how to put a stop to the glitch that quickly, but that's likely all irrelevant for this scenario as it seems clear this has nothing to do with a duplication glitch. The last thing we can go off of to come to this conclusion is that the most recent duplication glitch that went public and got patched by maintenance last Thursday said in the post about it that the maintenance was to fix an exploit in the game. That of course isn't anything close to what the post for the upcoming maintenance says. So now that we have confidence in this maintenance not being about fixing another duplication glitch, what about it causing a band wave or item wipe in the game? While I do believe both of those things are coming and I'll be doing a separate video about that soon, I feel like what the post for this maintenance describes isn't what I'd associate with a band wave or an item wipe. I feel like the post would either say something more obvious to it being related to those things, or it would say nothing at all until after the maintenance so people didn't have a chance to react beforehand. I'm honestly not even sure if they do a band wave or an item wipe as just a maintenance either, rather than being a part of a full on patch. So while my personal guess would be that this maintenance is also not for a band waiver item wipe, it's not out of the realm of possibility, and so if you feel the need to take precaution and for instance take any large amounts of or even all duped items from your main account and move them over to another account in order to potentially protect your main, then by all means go ahead. As I said before, I do believe a band wave and item wipe is coming, so assuming tomorrow's maintenance doesn't bring those with it, I'll make a video explaining why I think they're coming and what all you can do to best protect your accounts and duped items. That's going to be it for this video though guys, if you have any questions or concerns, just post them in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. As always, if you've enjoyed this video or found it informative, be sure to drop a like on it down below, subscribe for more, and click the bell icon to be notified when I post new videos. Thanks for watching everyone, and have a great day.